So whenever it's leg day, I always get, I always get nervous. I always do. I always feel like, I think it's because I don't want to leave the gym questioning, did I even push myself hard enough? Because I feel like I've already gotten really good with pushing myself for upper body. Like I know when I leave, I'm like, yeah, I couldn't go anymore. Like I did push myself. And when it comes to lower body, I just, I feel like sometimes I question, cause it is, it is hard. When you work out lower body, it is hard. I mean, even upper body it is, but I don't know. It's just like, you can feel almost like sick sometimes when you're just like literally, I don't know, going, going really hard. And it's just, and it is an uncomfortable feeling. It is a scary feeling. And, oh, but then I'm just like, man, like, did I stop? Because I, it was, it was like, you know, getting too hard. And I don't know. So that's why every time I have to like really, sometimes, sometimes I do listen to like motivational like videos and just kind of like get myself out of my head by acknowledging how I'm feeling and just being like, okay, all I can do though is get there and get, you know, get going. And, you know, I just feel like sometimes, ugh, I don't know. I, yeah, I just, but I, I do try to like not overthink it. And then every time I do get better, you know, acknowledging that feeling and knowing that, you know, I, I did, I did push myself and, you know, I just, just like, yeah, like at the end of the day. So I guess, I guess with all that I'm saying is, you know, take it step by step. If you guys are feeling overwhelmed with even going to the gym, like that's fine. It's very normal. It's, um, you know, like but still, still find the enjoyment in it. Um, because I still enjoy, you know, that uncomfortable feeling I do, even though it's scary, <laughs> but I don't know, maybe, uh, just know that, you know, at the end of the day, take it step by step, getting to the gym and all that stuff. And don't be too hard on yourself, you know? Um, cause this is going to be a long journey. It's not going to happen overnight. All of this is, something that you you have to enjoy and you have to find what makes it enjoyable for you and yeah like when I first started I I was too hard on myself and I would look at people that were doing it for like 10 years already and I'm just like oh wow like I'm never gonna look like that but it's like why are we gonna do that to ourselves it's gonna take a long time but you know enjoy it enjoy those little victories you get in the gym with you know getting better feeling better and it just feeling great when you do go to the gym. So yeah, I just, I just don't want anyone to feel like stuck, you know, cause it's fine to feel that way, but like, don't, don't let it consume you, you know, just get yourself going, start moving. And, and before you know it, you did it. So, uh, that's what we're going to do today. And, uh, yeah, we're going to hit hamstrings and glutes. I wanted to, I forgot to bring my belt. I wanted to use it because I wanted to try RDLs again today. Um, I know we use the, I think it's the hip extension last time, but I, I think I want to try the RD, I mean, we'll do RDLs today and, uh, do that. But I forgot my belt. I wanted to use it. Um, but it'll be fine. At least, yeah, everything else is good. So, um, yeah, we're just head in, head in there and uh, get started. Okay, so my hamstrings are feeling great. I didn't bump up the weight as much as I did last time because that was too much. You know, I think it's easy to bump the weight a lot when you're doing legs, um, but we don't need to do that. So I just added five more pounds more than last time and uh, we're gonna see how that feels, but I'm hoping everything feels really good. I mean, hey, this is for the first lift, but I mean, that's the right attitude though. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> okay. That's all good. And I'm glad I'm glad I only added that much little or but that much more weight. Um that felt perfect. Okay, we uh we'll do one more of those. And of course I do like my uh my warm up before I do my working sets. And um I don't know, I feel like my warms are actually pretty simple. And uh, sometimes it's also just like warming up within the lift that you're doing, but um, also not trying to do it so much that you're gonna fatigue yourself before the working set. Oh gosh, I wonder how, how I can uh, try to maybe explain that or something, cause maybe it's uh, something, maybe from doing it for so long, you kind of know, okay, like any more, I am gonna get fatigued if I do this warm up for like you know don't do it for like you know five sets and do so many reps and stuff huh maybe maybe i'll have to go a little more in depth than that but i'm not sure you guys let me know but uh just remember that don't get fatigued before your actual working set Remember, I like I'm like doing a few you just a couple maybe a couple of partials at the end just to make sure um i did do as many as my body's capable of um but not too much because also huh, maybe the theme of today is like you don't want to fatigue your muscles you really want to make sure you're doing that working set and making those count so uh like i said i just do a couple which is like one or two maybe three um but then i'm just like okay no like my body can't push it anymore so we're good because sometimes like I said sometimes you will get that extra rep that you didn't think you were going to get so it's good just to like double check almost okay so we'll go ahead and uh check out the RDLs yeah we'll go and check them out like I said I've been throwing around the RDLs or the hip extension so we'll see Okay, so I'm like in the way corner over here, so it's really dark. I hope you guys can still see. I, I did try to bring up the brightness. Um, but yeah, for me, I, it feels nice over here. <laughs> Just kind of secluded. So uh, we're going to do our first working set. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, the RDLs feel all right. So we'll uh, see how many reps we can do. I'm hoping for eight. So let's just hope for that and make it happen. Okay, we did, we did seven. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't too satisfied with those. 
Huh. Hmm. Okay, well, hopefully the next set feels better. And it's funny, sometimes you'll uh, feel it after you're done, you rack the weight, because now I'm just like, whoa. So, so maybe that wasn't as bad as I thought, but yeah. Well, we'll keep it. We'll just do that one more set and then we'll move on to the hip thrust. And uh, you have to remember when you're doing these, your everything above your waist should just stay stabilized. You know, nothing's really moving. I, I remember in the beginning when I was learning how to do like deadlifts, you know, so that was a deadlifts, bench, squats kind of thing. Um, I would, I would have my, I would be shrugged when I would do this and I didn't understand like keeping, you know, your back and lats engaged and your chest, like, yeah, like I just, it couldn't, couldn't figure it out. And that's why I feel like my traps are so like, uh, more developed because in the beginning I would be like always working out my traps. So I'd be using them for like everything. I'd be, I didn't understand how to not use them. Um, but you know, I feel like I don't know, eventually I figured it out, but uh, just keep that in mind when you're doing deadlifts or, you know, even, like RDL, anything like that. Or even when you're carrying a dumbbell, just make sure your back and your lats are engaged and you're just holding it. Because the heavier you get, it's going to be too hard to even do that. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. I Eventually, my body was able to carry, carry a heavier weight, so I like figured it out. And I think that's why I tell you guys, sometimes you find that sweet spot when the weight's too light, your body kind of doesn't know how to figure it out. But then when you find that sweet spot, it's that right amount of weight, your body kind of just, it feels smoother. And I hope you know what I mean, because it's a, it's something I really, I really feel when I'm doing like dumbbell bench. Because think about it, if you're doing it, if they're really light, don't you feel like the dumbbells are kind of like all over the place? So I feel like sometimes it kind of correlates with this too. Anyways, let's go ahead and do the working set. <laughs> Be the last one. Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it's hard to really, or at least I don't ever want to get to the point where you want to get that one last rep and you end up hurting yourself, you know? And so I already told you guys, lower body has never felt the most comfortable, like for, for upper, I, I know that, that, that feeling. I'm just like, ah, I can do one more. I know I can, but when it comes to lower, when I do try that sometimes, depending on the lift. So this will be one of them. If I try that, sometimes I do like trick my back because I'm just like, I can do one more. And then it's just like, you're right here. And then you're just like, oh, it's just right there. You can lift up. And then I'm like, oh, took myself. So, uh, which kind of bums me out too. Cause then it's just like, well, did, could I have done one more rep? And then it's just that little debate with my jaw. So that's how I've been feeling with RDLs. Okay, let's go and find the next machine. Okay, let's see how much reps I can get this time. Um, like I said, the leg curls felt good. The RDLs felt all right, but I still did, you know, like my heavier weight that, you know, so I, that's something too. So I guess we'll see how these feel. Yeah. Uh, I like to keep my um, my stance the same as like when I'm doing like my RDLs and stuff.
Okay. Well, this felt better. I think, uh, I don't think we were able to do more than six reps and we did eight. And I was able to rack it because you know how hard it is to rack this weight. So uh, we'll do that same weight for the next set, which is good because maybe next time we'll be able to hire it. And that's always a good sign. Okay, I'm not expecting to hit eight reps again, but at least five or six. Because even if one set is, you know, better than last time, that's still a PR and that's still improvement. Yeah, I knew I was only able to do one more after that. Oh, yeah, no, before I start my set, I don't know if you guys noticed, I like when I am set up, I like flex my glutes. Just make sure, I feel like it helps me just know that they're in a good spot. Um, that, you know, because I mean, obviously when we're lifting, we'll be using that muscle. So kind of like flex it sometimes. Like, at least that's what I've been doing for my lower body, just because I really want to make sure I'm doing everything so that they're in a good position. So, yeah, now we'll just go and kill, kill it with uh, the Bulgarians. Okay. Well, you guys already know how much they scare me, but we're going to do them anyways, because I also love how they make me feel like, I really did give it my all, you know, and relief because these definitely kill me. So let's just get ahead, go ahead and get into it. Okay, one rep more than usual. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah. And of course, my music's not working. Okay. And rest a little bit more. Oh, 
I have a lot of balancing going on. But even though it probably didn't look like, you know, I had it stable, but it felt better than last time, if you guys remember. I think towards the end, I was more wobbly. And uh, I don't know why I took these out, because I love doing Bulgarians. And uh, you'll get better at it the more you do it, you know. So, um, gosh, I don't know, guys. I'm tempted to add some weight, but then I don't know. Oof. Maybe we'll add some weight. And then we'll do one more set and do like a back off set. I guess we'll see. Okay. We uh, grab the 50s. See how much we can do. I'm not expecting too much, but I also want to get used to carrying it. So, oh, let's go for at least five to six reps. You know, because I think some of it is partly just getting your body used to carrying that heavier weight. You know, and then the next time you use it, it's not as crazy. Okay, guys, we did, we did the A, see, technically, like mentally, I don't think, me thinking about it, I was like, nah, I can't do it, but sometimes you just have to try it, your body is capable more than you think, I'm actually surprised with how that felt, almost, don't even believe that was more weight, that's weird, gosh, Okay. Oh. Yeah, it was uh, it was funny. The first rep, I was a little wobbly because I wasn't used to carrying that weight. But um, but then it just felt good after that. Okay, we're gonna do the, get a, the other leg going. I'm gonna do one more. We'll do a drop set with this. Okay. Oh. Okay. You guys already know how this one makes me feel sick. Oh gosh. So, you know, we're just gonna take it rep by rep and finish strong because this is the last thing. Okay. Don't wanna leave 
thinking I could have done can could have done more. So let's just do it. Okay. We're going to rest. Oh, okay. Got a little messy at the end because I'm not used to carrying that much weight on one side. So I wanted to make sure my legs were dead before, you know, just me trying to stabilize that weight. Do the same amount that we did on this one and do it for this one. Mm. I already know this one's gonna be hard because when I went to the second leg, oh gosh, it hurt. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
We're done. I'll see you guys in the car. My face looks like a, a tomato. I think it always does when I'm working out. So just something uh, you guys will get used to. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy how we left the gym. I feel like, yeah, like my glutes were on fire. So uh, I do those for glutes. So I lean forward more. And um, yeah, feel them all on my glutes. It's, I couldn't even sit down. I, cause my glutes were just like so on fire. I needed to like stand up. Um, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm uh, sitting around 180 right now. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna stay there. Cause uh, I, uh, there's no reason to gain more weight because you know, it's just gonna be, the cut's just gonna take longer and we don't want that either. So it's like, you know, finding that happy medium, you want to gain weight, but not too much. And, um, you know, that you feel uncomfortable when you're lifting because you're just like so heavy. So we're not, we're not there yet. Obviously I am heavier and, you know, I do have fluff on me and all that stuff, like a little, all that stuff. So I'm not unaware of it. <laughs> it's there, but you know, Hey, like my workouts are amazing. And that's what we focus on when we're doing our bulk is that our workouts or that, you know, we're getting stronger, they're feel we're feeling great in the gym because when we do our cut, that not that may not be the case, you know, because we're eating less calories. Um, yeah, and then we'll have to be doing like more cardio and stuff, in which I don't know how I'm gonna do that after leg day. So I might just do cardio a separate day. Just, we'll see. I'm I'll see what my body can handle. Maybe I just need a rest and then I'll do my cardio. But um yeah, I uh I just love that feeling you get when you're, when, cause I think that's the, that's the thing, right? Like you can push yourself in doing something, but sometimes you don't always get the results you want. And you know, that either being life can be a little unfair or, you know, and I just feel like when it comes to like bodybuilding or at least how it's helped me is that, you know, once you get started, you might be lost. You might not know what you're doing, but you know, start. And then the more you find out, you know, the, the more accomplished you're going to feel because you're just, you know, looking things up because, you know, with anything you start, you're not going to know everything about it, you know? Cause I mean, I guess you can read all the books, you can look up all the research, but you physically doing it, you know, you need to do that too. Cause you also would be learning with you physically doing that thing. So it's just, you know, I feel like it's the nice thing that no one can really take away from you. You know, you can push yourself and with you doing that, you see the results, you know, and it's just that kind of satisfying feeling because it's just nice to know that when you do put work into something, you do get something out of it. 
Because I think sometimes we like to make excuses being like, oh, I can try so hard, but I won't get anything out of it. Or I won't, you know, this or that. But it's like, well, did you though? Did you physically try? Did you, did you research? Did you learn how to do it? Because it's like vice versa. Yeah, we can physically go in the gym, but if we're not trying to learn how to do a movement better or trying to see, well, if I want to, you know, get a better physique, I need to be doing this and this and not, you know, you know, so it's like you physically have to be doing the work and you also have to be, you know, looking up things. And I kind of like that thing that, you know, you can't make excuses for things because it's just like, well, are you, you know, doing what you need to do? And it's nice because it's that also when you meet other like-minded people in the gym and they also can help you with their mistakes, you know, and that goes with anything. Like we're all going to try something and we're not all going to be perfect at it, but it's nice when you know that, you know, we all had to start somewhere and we all had to, you know, probably learn sometimes the hard way. But the thing is like, don't give up, you know, keep going, keep getting better, keep learning, you know, because like I tell you guys too, I'm still learning. I'm still figuring out things. I'm still figuring out my body. I'm still figuring out what I can do for it, what works best for it. And, and then the funny thing is there's always new research going on. But at the end of the day, you need to try it yourself and see how your body reacts. Because in the beginning, I think, I think I was overtraining. And it's funny because it's like, if I were to write it down, it, my body was showing me that. It was showing me not progressing in the gym because you're so fatigued. And, you know, I just was like, but no, like, you know, cause back then it's like, no, no, the more you put in, the more you get out. But, you know, like I said too, you need to also learn and see what's going on. Like, you know, you can physically do all, all this and that, but you also like need to learn, you know, well, your body can only handle so much. What, what is that limit? And you finding that out yourself and now realizing, yeah, maybe I was doing too much that my body wasn't recovering. So you know, even now, just always, always wanting to like, you know, learn what I need to do to get better and we can always get better. And yeah, that's why I'm saying like, it's the nice thing. That's always like, I think I can always remember is like, you know, it, it might be tough. It might be even confusing. It might be embarrassing, you know, but don't be afraid to try it. Don't be afraid. And like, if you keep doing something, you will get better, but you also have to be open-minded to learning and figuring it out for yourself and you know because one way for someone may work a little differently for someone else you know I uh you know for like what do you call it so I used to uh decorate cakes you know I I like I like painting and stuff so um when I got the job I was like well I've never decorated a cake before but you know I do like to paint and all that stuff you know I like being artsy and and um they're just like you know what okay we'll give you we'll give you a shot all that stuff so I was scared I was intimidated because I'm like I didn't know but it's like well you have to try you never know and also you're also telling yourself like well you're not expecting to get better you know if you do make a mistake then you learn from it and and I did I learned a new skill I learned how to decorate cakes and everything it was fun it was so fun but it was intimidating I and I wasn't technically qualified but I knew I can do it because it's like well I'm willing to learn I'm willing to learn and so what's what's the worst that's going to happen you know so it was just a, a thing that helped correlate to other things and you know whatever it is you're doing and if you need that mental like reminder like hey if I don't give up if I keep trying it's fun to see like your your body will physically show you like this is what will happen you will get better you know you will feel better and you can do it and so just just remember that you know we have to start somewhere and we're always getting better we're always learning and what may work for you you know like what may work for someone else may not work for you and always just keep that open-minded you know it's it's funny how some people are just like no it's it's like a straight line this is how you're supposed to do something and and also like that's how you're supposed to live life like this and that it's just like well you know I is it though I don't think so I don't think so I feel like everyone has their way of like being happy you know so Whatever that may be, it may, it may not be with uh, lifting weights. It may be with something else, you know, and you can feel that with anything you do. But the main thing is don't give up, you know, because when you give up, then, then you did fail.
you know, and you'll never find out. It's just like uh, that little saying that guy's like carving his way out and he's like, like maybe just a few inches from making it out of, you know, being stuck. But he's like, you know what? I'm never going to make it out. I'm just going to just going to stop and quit. And he just needed that a little more. And and then that's the thing. Just if you love it and you enjoy it, like, you know, it's what's the worst that's going to happen? You know, you're going to show yourself you're getting better. You're going to enjoy it more. Yeah. So, yeah, we had a good workout and I hope you guys have a great workout and I hope you are feeling good about yourself after your workout, you know, so don't ever take that feeling away from yourself. Figure out how to adjust your workouts that you feel good after you leave. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to do back, back and triceps. Okay. Bye.